First of all, we have the uh, square black and white country of control. <laughs> These are the people who just want to get her done. <laughs> Need to get her done. Just get her done. All right, their favorite vehicle is the bulldozer. <laughs> they just hop on that bulldozer and plow everybody over to get something accomplished. You know, and it's raw. They're focused on what they're doing, not who they're killing while they're doing it. <laughs> because their greatest desire in life is they want appreciation for what they do. They want appreciation for it. They want to, I want you to appreciate me. I told you last night how men like to be appreciated. Men like this really want to be appreciated. But there's women like this too. They just, they want appreciation for what they do. Now, these people generally, uh, depending on how passionate they are about it, they're so strong about it that the last thing in the world you want to do is appreciate them. <laughs> right? In fact, we'll say things like, dear God, don't appreciate him. <laughs> right? So... We all, the rest of us from other countries, feel it's our God-given responsibility to deny them what they want the most. <laughs> and then we wonder why people get upset. We wonder why they feel depressed. We wonder why people feel struggle in life. Why? Because what they desire the most is being forbidden to them by everybody closest to them in their lives. You're not helping your spouse by denying what they want. It'll seem odd to you because you don't want it. I mean, to, to all of us, you know, that's weird. And in every country, they each have something that to the rest of us seems weird. But to them, it's, it's breath and life to them. These people want to be appreciated. Uh, they like words like grasp, control, get her done, appreciate, accomplish, achieve. That's the world that they come from. All right? Then the next one is we have the star-shaped country of fun. Guess where I come from? All right? Now, these are the people, they just want to have fun. <laughs> you know, just, we love it. And uh, um, our favorite vehicle is the jet plane. <laughs> High speed, no limits. Of course, we're famous for smashing into walls and, and not seeing where we're going. <laughs> and, of course, we think it's hilarious. You know, then we just get up and take off again. <laughs> and it's not so funny to your spouse, who's tired of seeing you smash into walls all the time, right? But we don't care. Our greatest desire is, look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. We love to be noticed. Fun people love to be noticed. Their favorite environment is being noticed in a crowd of people. Just, look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. That's, that's fun people. That's why they'll share horribly embarrassing situations that, that you would never share. It's true. Why can they do that? Because we just, just look at me. We don't care. Look at me, look at me. Look at me, look at me. I was in Ohio, and I got on one of these shuttle buses, you know, from the airport to the uh, rental car thing, and this lady hops on the bus, and she's just loud. You know, fun people are loud. Loud, loud, loud. Why? Look at me, look at me, look at me. And, and she's just talking. The lady's hilarious. She's got us all laughing on the bus. Right, I knew right away what country she came from, you know. <laughs> she's, she was in, in uh, she'd just come back from uh, 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 Rhode Island, which is about the size of a postage stamp and describing how it took her nine hours to get from the airport to her hotel. <laughs> now, it only takes 20 seconds to drive across Rhode Island, but it took them nine hours. To, and she's describing how they kept going in circles and stuff like that, and she thought it was hilarious. <laughs> it's an embarrassing thing. And, I, oh. and then she says, and then we finally got to the hotel, and it was this hotel, and it was so neat, because when we looked outside, it had the biggest, fullest moon we ever saw. It was so beautiful. And she's describing it in, in detail, and she's kind of pulling us all in. And she says, the most amazing thing about it is it never moved all night. It stayed in that same spot. <laughs> and I'm thinking, really? <laughs> and she says, the next morning we got up, we saw it was a big lamp right outside our window. Oh, my God. Oh, so, I felt so stupid. <laughs> yeah, it was... she's sharing this with complete strangers <laughs> she doesn't care all right she just loves to have fun and loves to be noticed uh, we're not real big on details you know we're a little scattered brain we're the kind of people we'll go to a shopping mall and we'll come out and we have no idea where the car is <laughs> a and we think it's hilarious Of 
course, your spouse is not nearly as entertained by this. <laughs> Highly irritated, okay? And, and what do we do? These people, they want to be noticed. What, all you fun people, what have you heard all your life from people? Oh, God, don't notice them. Don't encourage them. Don't encourage them. So everybody closest to you works the hardest to deny you what you want the most. And if they succeed, you will be depressed. You will be frustrated. You will not be happy if they win. There's this constant war between the, the countries here. Now look at the words they like to use. Really happy, good time, funny, great. Ha ha ha. Now, a lot of, I, we get a lot of people from Fun Country coming to my event because it's called Laugh Your Way to a Better Marriage. And they just, they're just the title alone they're in. Ha ha ha. Okay, let's go. Ha ha ha. I love it. I love it. <laughs> and, and, and what are they doing? They're trying to sell everybody by using their words. So if they're married to a control person, they're coming up saying, Oh, come on. You need to come. It'll be really fun. It'll be really great. Oh, oh that's such a blast. But you're speaking Swahili to this guy. See? Because not, not, there's not one word you said that appeals to him at all. No, come on, it'll be really fun, it'll be really fun, it'll be really fun. We all like using our own language. And then and we can't even begin to comprehend why the phrase really fun, fun doesn't motivate you to come. All right? If you really wanted to succeed with Mr. Control or Mrs. Control, you would use their language. You would say, honey, you know, we ought to go to this thing because we'll be able to achieve more in our marriage, we'll be able to accomplish more, we'll be able to get more done, and we'll succeed more in our relationship. Now you're talking his language. <laughs> do you see the difference? But we don't want to do that. We don't even care what the other language is. <laughs> we just want to use our language. And it gets us in trouble. So this is important to try and understand. And then we have the people uh, from the diamond-shaped hard, perfect world of perfect. <laughs> and these are the people, they just want to get it right. It's just details, details, details. They view the world under a magnifying glass, you know. And, and they're always looking for flaws. And they're always, their way of saying I love you is let me tell you what's wrong with you. <laughs> you know what I'm talking. Some of you got that. You, you're always telling your spouse, you know, you, you need to quit doing that. You need to do this better. Why do you, you know, this is their version of love. If they didn't, if they didn't care, they'd let you just burst into flames. They wouldn't care. <laughs> You're about to drive over a cliff. They don't know you. They don't care. Just see you. <laughs> you know. But if they love you, they're always pointing out what's wrong and how you can be better. Uh, these people, their perfect, their, their ideal vehicle is the train. That's because unless this rail is exactly, it has to be exactly from the same distance from this rail or the train's not going to move. These people are often accused of being controlled, control freaks, and they're not, and they get mad. If you have a spouse that you say, you're, you're just a control freak, and they get mad at you, I promise you they're not a control freak. They're probably a perfect person. Control people, when you accuse a control person of being a control person, you know what they do? They go, that's right. <laughs> you know, they love it. Rawr, rawr. That's right, I'm a control. Get out of my way, you know. But perfect people are often accused of being controlled, but the reason that it feels like they're controlled is because they're always stopping the train. They're train stoppers. They're not controllers. They're not trying to control the environment. As control people like to control the environment. They like to do this, do that, put this here, do that. They, they light up with that. But, but, but perfect people, they just want to get it right. That's, that's their desire. Get it right. Let's get it right. Let's get it right. Now, it doesn't mean it is right. It's just right to them. These are the people that if they were on the Titanic, the only thing they would be concerned about is that the furniture stay arranged on deck. <laughs> the rest of us would be on, we're dying, it's gonna sink, who cares? I'm sorry, it's policy. We gotta keep these chairs over here because that's, that's, that's what it says in the manual, you know. You ever run into somebody like that? That it seems like for the lack of every bit of common sense in the world, they cannot see it because it's in the manual. That's the way. These are perfect people. They, they make some of the greatest workers in the world because they'll, do, they'll, they'll follow, you know, the, the manual to death, you know. Uh, now, these are by nature the most creative people in the world. Your best architects, your best artists, your best designers, your best musicians, Janet, 
comes from the world of perfect. It's, it's her highest score. They take details and they make them come alive. They are creative geniuses, all right? But they are, by nature, the world's most sensitive people. And what they desire more than anything is really not perfection. They just want you to be sensitive to their feelings, which is something you'd, you'd never even connect that. You think, well, they want perfection. They want to view stuff. They want everything. No, no, no. Their greatest desire, sensitivity to their feelings. It really throws everybody because no one picks that up because they're always throwing darts at everybody. That's wrong. 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 Okay? And then we try and throw the darts back at them. Okay, it, 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 but they, they don't handle it very well. <laughs> they don't like it. They get their feelings hurt all the time. Perfect people always walk around. They're always hurting all the time. People are always offending them. They're, and they feel things very, very deeply. And a lot of them carry a lot of hurt and pains from even years ago. It's a real struggle for them. Again, they're creative, brilliant geniuses. God loves them, and God made you the way you are. But they have a real hard time letting go of stuff. See, control people. If you offend, offend a controlled child, he'll push past it. You offend a, a fun child, he'll laugh it off. You offend a peace child, he'll make peace with it. You offend a perfect child, and they can carry the pain of that well into adulthood, some of them for the rest of their lives. If you have perfect children, you need to be very careful with them. They're very, very sensitive people. Again, they're brilliant, they're wonderful people, the most misunderstood people. When I'm flying home at 35,000 feet, I'm really hoping the guy who designed that came from perfect country. <laughs> and not from fun country. You know? <laughs> Bad. Because <laughs> all we care about is that it looked cool. <laughs> and if it blows up, we go, <laughs> Oh, man, did you see that? Oh, oh, let's make another one, you know. So we just. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, then we have the final country, the, the country of peace. These are the people who just want to get along with everybody. Can't we all just get along? I call it the Rodney King motivation. Can't, can't we all just get along, you know. Their, their favorite vehicle is the gondola on calm waters. <laughs> they hate emotional waves. They just hate it. Inevitably, these people marry people who do belly flaps in the pool. <laughs> Psh, oh, stop it! You know, they just, they just hate it. It drives them crazy. This, this uh, picture of a, a person in a hammock while mowing the lawn. That, that's not laziness to these people. That's efficiency. <laughs> stay calm. Just stay calm. <laughs> they like words like no hassle, the easy way, relax, low maintenance, smart. You know, they just like doing things, you know, with as little discomfort as possible. Now, these people's greatest desire, the, the control and fun are the easiest to recognize what their desire is. Perfect and, and peace is, is harder. Perfect, I explained to you, but uh, peace people, what the greatest desire is for you to respect who they are. That's what they, that's what they really want. The problem is these are the easiest people in the world to disrespect. It is because they're so nice. <laughs> and they're so placid and so bendable. They're just, And, and when anybody from the other countries run into a peace person, we immediately think, here's a chance for a convert. <laughs> That's what we do. We can get him to the dark side. <laughs> Follow the dark side. Because we think, because they're so nice, they really need what we have. And, and we can bring them to our side. So control people, you know, they, they, they'll come to a peace person and say, you need to get more done in your life. And a peace person will go, okay. <laughs> and a fun person will say, you need to be more excited about life. And they'll go, okay. <laughs> and a perfect person says, you need to get it right. And they'll go, yes, yes, you're right. <laughs> And you can push them along just so far. These people will all of a sudden shut down on you in a heartbeat. And, 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 the and it'll shock you to say, what happened? 
It's because at some point you start disrespecting them and you start insulting them. They'll put up with a lot because they're peace people. By nature, they'll, they'll suffer the slings and arrows of many outrageous fortunes, okay? But you start insulting who they are, they will, they'll shut down you, they'll go cold, they'll get really upset. A control person pushes too hard, she, it makes a peace person feel stupid. You make a peace person start to feel stupid, they'll really get upset with you. A fun person can make them feel like a dud. You make them feel like a dud, they'll shut down. You know, a, a perfect person make them feel like, like a failure. You start making them feel that way, you're insulting them, they will shut down on you. Um, if war breaks out between the other three countries, these people all hide. <laughs> and, and they come out and, and join whoever won at the end. You know, that's... Uh, which makes the other two want to kill them. Okay, so... 